Hi everyone, back here again for another video. I have been receiving many questions from you guys asking how to change the language when using the K380 or the K480. So today, let me show you how to do it on the iPad Air 3, the iPad Pro, and also the iPhone. This is quite an in-depth video as I noticed there are some issues that I will describe here later in the video. Also, I will describe the tips how you can ease the frustration of changing the language if you are experiencing it. First thing to do, whether I use the iPad Air 3 or the iPad Pro, is to add the language or languages that I need to use. And I do this via the iPad General Settings. So I go into General and then Keyboard and then add the language that I want. Then, once I connect my K380 or my K480 to my iPad, the hardware keyboard settings will be displayed. And from here, this options will show. First, the press the globe for emoji. If it's off, then it should allow me to change languages using this button. Also, the caps lock can be used to switch languages. But if it's off, my understanding is it should work as for caps lock only. Now let's see how to change the language in my iPad Pro. My iPad is currently on iPadOS 14.4.2. In the K380, the insert button with the globe icon is what I need to use to change languages. But important to know is that I need to press as well the function key along with the insert key to change the language. Now, this may stop working, or at least at first I thought it stopped working, uh, when I press on caps lock. So if I'm typing in English and I press caps lock, then if I want to switch to another language, it won't work by pressing on the function key and the insert key. I need to turn off caps lock first, then I can switch language again. Now, this is not easy to know if caps lock is on or not since there's no light indicator on the K380. So my tip is just try to press caps lock once, then do function and insert key, and it should let you change the language. If it doesn't work, just press the caps lock again. The same goes with the K480. And the only difference here is that I don't need to press the function key along with the insert button. I just press F12 or insert where you see the globe icon and it will let me change the language. If I press on caps lock, I have to turn it off when I want to change to non-English language. It's the same steps and tip as what I explained uh, when I showed the K380. Now with the iPad Air 3, I'm running this on iPad OS 14.5 beta version, and I think this beta version is causing some issues. I'm not that sure though, and this is just my theory, because as we saw with the iPad Pro, which is running on iPad OS 14.4.2, the changing of the language is working okay. So I did the same steps like I did in my iPad Pro, where I pressed function and insert keys, which should let me change languages. The switch language indicator shows, however, it doesn't work. I think it used to work, though I cannot find it in my old videos. So now when I press function and the insert or the globe key, it shows it switches languages, but when I, but when I type, it remains in English. It seems the hardware keyboard switch language is not working, but the on-screen keyboard changes. If I press on the caps lock, like the workaround I do with the iPad Pro, I still can never change to other language in the K380.
What's strange though is when I type in the spotlight search, it keeps typing in Thai language, but when I go back to notes, it types again in English. And again, even if I enable caps lock to switch language or disable caps lock to try to switch language, it, it just shows the indicator, but it doesn't let me type in other languages. It remains in English. And because of this, what I did is try to reset all the settings of my iPad Air 3. Although it did not really completely fix it because when I do the function and insert key, it still doesn't let me change the language. Although the on-screen keyboard changes, but not when I type with the K3AT. What I found out though, is that using the caps lock will let me change the language. So here I can switch between uh, English or Thai by pressing on the caps lock. It's not a great solution, but at least it's there and you can try it out if it works for you too. Let me see when the public version of the iPadOS 14.5 is released and I will do my test again for sure to see if this language issue will be fixed. Now, if I use the K480 with my iPad Air 3, after I have connected the keyboard to the iPad, it automatically types in Thai. I really don't know why. Even if I press the F12 or insert key to change language, it shows the that it switches languages, but it, this time it remains to be typing in Thai. However, the same workaround as in the iPad Pro and what I just showed with the K380, if I use the caps lock, then it will allow me to change the language. And lastly, as for the iPhone, changing languages, either using the K380 or the K480, work very well, similar to how it works with the iPad Pro. And maybe because the iPad Pro and my iPhone are running on iOS 14.4.2. So I hope this video helps you somehow and gave you the idea why sometimes you couldn't switch languages and you have found a workaround how to finally switch languages on your K380 or the K480. That's it. Thanks for watching.